Alright, hello and welcome back. So, it's been some time since I've uploaded a video. Um, I did just get this little girl. This is one of the new Glow Bettas. Um, gonna talk a little bit here about these fish. Give my thoughts on them and everything. Um. First things first, um, please subscribe and um, comment. That really helps me out and gives me motivation to do these videos. Um, second of all, I am not here to bash Glowfish as a company or anything about that. I'm just here to state what I see and what I think should have been done. So to start off with, this is a female glow beta. Um, I personally like these fish. I think they're very interesting. I have nothing against the glow fish. Um, I think they do make some interesting looking animals. Um, it's not for everybody if you're against genetic modification of fish and that's your priority you know that's you they're not for everybody uh, with that said we're going to start off with what I like about them they're not just solid green they do have these ones that look like they were probably Create it from a Cambodian red line or maybe a red butterfly line um, to have this red in the tail so they're all not just green. Um, you can see she is a pretty bright green under this light. And yes, I still have her in this container. No, this is not her tank. Um, I just wanted to do this video and then while her tank's going and everything and letting her adjust to the temperature here. I heat my house. I don't heat every individual tank. Um, so they are really interesting. Um, I like the process and the history behind Glowfish. The things that I see a problem with, and that Glowfish should have done better to take care of, is one, some of these fish are blind. That's not uncommon with beta fish, or betas, whichever way. Um, not uncommon for them to be born blind, to develop um, diamond eye later on, Especially with a lot of the metallic colors. Um, this particular female does not appear to be blind in any way. Um, she's finding her blood worms just fine so she can see. Um, another thing, these fish are really young. Especially the females and the standard males that I see. Now, their premium males are full grown. The premium males that I've seen, I don't have a real problem with. I do, however, have a problem with these young bettas being sold like this. Especially because this female is not even mature. She does not show an egg spot. So she is not mature. She's still a very young fish. Young bettas require a more experienced hand than what these are marketed towards. They're marketed towards kids. And that's a whole fight in and of its own. Me personally, I think it's 
not a problem as long as the parents do the responsible thing. You know, I was very young when I had my first tank. I started keeping tanks at three, four years old. So, you know, it can be done and done responsibly. And as long as the parents are doing it responsibly, this would be a great fish for a child. It's They're going to be interested in it. It's going to be cool. It's a, it's a neat fish. You don't see this all the time. <clears throat> so... They are very young, which at this age is hard to um, even tell the genders of these fish. Now, I am pretty sure that what I have here is a female, but I breed these fish. I know what to look for. Could this still end up being a male? Yes. Um... You know, that's a possibility. It's not fully mature, so it's still a little up there. Um, it does seem like they use some sort of placot as the baseline for these. Um, I've not seen any with very different tails than maybe a placot are a delta tail but they are a short fin fish um, overall it's a neat fish I definitely like I said I have a problem with how young these fish are if you plan on getting one of these they do need special care they need higher temperature water they need at least 85 degrees in their water a lot of these fish probably still need live foods <clears throat> here we'll offer her some more blood worms um, these are just frozen teeth all blood worms so you see she she sees them she's eating I mean, I just got her today, and I mean, she is eating right off the rip. So, <clears throat> I'm just kind of feeding her some here and there. If I see that she stops eating them, I'll take them out of the tank. Um, so, they may need live food still. Um, definitely a higher temperature. As far as the black lights and blue lights on them to make them glow, I don't see where that's going to cause much harm to them. Um, I would definitely make sure that you give some dark places where if the light does get too much on them, that they can get out of that light. Um... I would try my best to find them that don't have the coloration in their eyes. It's hard to see here. Let me see if I can zoom this in without knocking it off. So see how you can see the pupil and how it appears black. And some of these fish, uh, you can see that the green pigment is in their eyes as well. And those fish do seem like they have a bit of blindness. Um, I really think Glowfish should have done better with this. I, I like the fish. I think it's a neat concept. What I would like to see is one adult fish not juveniles um especially not um what's the word i'm looking for not babies are not mature fish you know 
that is a big no. We all know the whole fiasco with Petco and the baby bettas. And that's kind of what they've done here. These fish are a little bigger. They are a little older than the baby bettas. But they're still what I would consider babies. They are not mature. They're not yet. They're not grown yet. They still need um, raised up. They should have checked for things like blindness and stuff. And with this, it seems like they maybe didn't do the calling that they should have. And with that, you know, there's bad genetics there and you know you could go down well they're genetically altered anyways if you're having problems like blindness and stuff like that that needs called out you know beta splendas which is what you find at the pet store are far from what their wild counterparts are they have been crossbred they have been line bred and essentially genetically altered through breeding, which is still genetically altered. You know, they went a little extreme here, mixing it with jellyfish, coral DNA, and stuff, and embryos. You know, I'm not against it. But they should have done their work better. They should have made sure to raise these up into adults. Not shipped juvenile fish. They should have made sure to call out blind fish. Fish with deformities. Um, I did see one there that looked like it may have a kinked back. Which... Unfortunately, you see at pet stores all the time. I see them several times with fish with kinked backs. Um, I have a double tail that I rescued that has a slightly kinked back. And he just rips his fins to shreds. Um, so, you know, this should have been called out. Um, in my personal opinion, as a breeder... These fish that show signs of blindness, you know, it, it shouldn't have made it to the pet store. Whether they called it or whether, you know, they had a partnership with people to raise these fish up. They shouldn't be on pet store shelves blind. The average person is not going to know how to take care of a blind fish. Um, especially not a child, which these are marketed to. They're marketed towards kids. You know, oh, look, it glows. Oh, look, you can buy all this neat little fluorescent stuff. I'm not against that. You know, hey, they have the means to do this. If it's being done ethically, they're doing, they're calling out the weak they're making sure that, you know, they're producing strong fish and fish that are going to live a full life. I'm okay with it. You know, I'm not against, hey, you know, let's market this towards kids. Hey, you can put these glowy fluorescent things in it. Not everybody likes fully planted tanks. Not everybody likes that work that goes in with that. And some of these glow tanks can look really awesome. Um, and once again, you know, these are my thoughts, my opinions. Um, I've not worked with these. I do intend on getting some more. Um, I probably will end up getting a male as well. Um. And just raising them up to see. Um, 
one thing I do recommend is if you see pet stores that are not taking care of these fish and stuff, this drives me nuts when people go to pet stores, buy fish to save them, or they rescued them. You're not rescuing them. You are creating a bigger problem. If the pet store is not taking care of these fish, talk to them reasonably. See if you can get them to take care of them better. And if they won't consider it, boycott them. Do not buy anything from them. Buying these fish because you're rescuing them and so you're not rescuing them you're creating a bigger problem uh, there's a pet store up the road from me they kept their betters in little jars they were fighting at flaring and stuff at each other i talked with the manager now they're in nice little one gallon tanks they're divided you know not every place just wants to mistreat these animals. Some places just need educated. But if, because I did see some of these that looked bad. You know, I was there the day that they came out. These fish came in bad. I know my local pet store and stuff, which is a pet co. I don't have a problem buying from them because I know how they take care of their fish. I know the people in their fish department. I'm there all the time. Um, so I know it's not them, but please, if there is pet stores that you see mistreating their bettas, do not buy them to, quote, rescue them. You are making a bigger problem. And with that... Love them, hate them, impartial. It's a neat fish. It's an inter interesting concept. Um, very cool how they go about doing this. Um, this is my first glowfish. Back way back when, I did have some painted fish, which is where my kind of bias towards goldfish came from, but that's another story for another day. Um... It's cool. It's interesting. Do I think a kid would love this? Yes. I could see this getting a lot of children interested in keeping tanks. As adults, as parents, we have to make sure it's done correctly. And that the fish are taken care of once they come into our hands. Um, again, the downside is... These do appear to be very young fish. That seems to kind of be a concept all the way around. Um, with that, just note that they do need special care. And let me know what you think. Glowfish, love them, hate them, impartial. Let me know what you think and have a good night.